Hey guys, Weapon Game Bad today, bringing out a video for Battlefield 2042. Today I'm going to show you how to equip attachments for 2042 as well as in the portal. This is a problem I'm seeing playing in the portal in the game in general. Specifically for portal, people don't know how to make the attachments on your weapon because the plus system is not available in portal unless you're on a customized server. So I'll show you how to do that, make weapons available for 2042, add them to your plus system if you've just unlocked them and they're not showing up, and then we'll show how to do it for portal weapons so you're not running around with base iron sights and everything on your gun in portal. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into the loadouts for 2042 to start. So if we look at our weapons here, once you unlock the attachments, you'll get the unlock, say at the end of the round, you get an icon that you've unlocked. Let's say for example, that happened to me, the Fusion Hollow. Then I got in the next game, the Fusion Hollow is not available on my plus system. So the reason for that is if you look at one of the other attachment slots, like let's say ammunition, or let's use uh, Underbarrel for an example. So let's say I unlock an Underbarrel attachment and I'll get in game now and I'll look at my plus system and it won't be here. This is what I'll see. So what I'll need to do is add that to the plus system. This addition here, go ahead and I would select this first grip and then it would be available in my plus system. And if I wanted to start with it, I would swap the position. So how to do that, if we look at the sights here, you can see I'm starting with my iron sights. So when I get in game, look at my plus menu, I'll see these three options now because I've added these two additional sights to my plus menu. But if I wanted to start with, let's say, the red dot instead of the iron sights, I would just need to replace that. So what I'll do is edit the position here for me on PS5. I'll hit square, and then I'll put that in the first slot. Therefore, I will now start with the Fusion Hollow. Now, like I said, if you just unlock something like the Fusion Hollow, and it's not showing here, you'll need to manually go select it from this menu and go ahead and bring it in. And then you can replace or edit position and swap it for the first spot. And you can do that with any attachment. So you just want to swap things around. And there we go. We'll put my start with my Fusion Hollow. I'll go ahead and swap to this. If I want longer range, same with something like, let's say, the AK. So here is an example. I have my iron sights on there for the sights. It, for a backup in case, just because I have the T, or the, the Sean 2.5 times. And if I get in closer quarter situations, I don't have a red dot yet. So I'll want a iron sight here. Now, if I do get a red dot next, what I'll do is the XDR hollow, I'll get this in a few more kills. So I would select this and then I would basically just edit the replace the position for one of these two in the menu or just add it to the menu and I can select it from my plus menu. So that's how you would do that in game. As you unlock the attachments, you can there should be an option when you unlock them to put it on your weapon right then and there. Otherwise, you're going to have to manually come into this menu under collections, go to 2042 weapons and select them. So for the LCMG, again, same thing. You can see I have my iron sights on there as backup um, for just in case. And the barrel attachment, again, I just have my standard there as well, even though I wouldn't need that. But you just need to go in, hit the plus sign, add your newly unlocked weapon. It'll be added to your three tiers, or I guess your three slots here is what you get allowed for the weapon. So when you unlock all of these, you'll need to pick and choose what you want available in your plus system when you get in game. So that's how you do that for the Battlefield 2042 weapons. Now, Let's use Battlefield 3 for an example. When you get into the portal, a lot of people I see running around with iron sights or just base attachments on the weapons. And I see in the in-game chat, a lot of people not knowing how to change that. So first off, how to do this, you can see we obviously have our classic Battlefield 3 soldiers here, which just look amazing. And you can you can customize this screen and how, you guy, how your guy looks, things like that, as far as what he's carrying for weapons. So we'll go ahead. You have your default loadouts, what you would pick here to start when you get in-game. And you can see you can customize these, but we'll go to weapons. So let's use for an example, we'll use the, uh, why don't we use the AN-94 for an example. So first off, when you get in game, if I select the AN-94 right now, it's going to be the base version that you see here. You can also edit this in game. Um, so I'll show you how to do that as well. You customize, and again, right here, same thing. We just went over the plus menu. You can see I'm starting with the iron sights. There's no plus menu available in the portal unless you're on a customized server where it is available. So if you don't edit this, you'll get no attachments on your weapons. So what we'll do is we'll replace that again with hitting square at a position and we'll swap it and then we'll do the same with this. And now I could go ahead and bring something else in. Uh, we'll just say for the heck of it, why don't we do something like the seven times. But again, no plus menu. So I need to edit what I want to have on my weapon. And it's going to need to be in this first slot where I have the Cobra. Now, in game or here, if I decide I want to use the PKS seven times, I'll just replace or edit position and swap it to my first option. Then I'll start in game with this. So I want to start with the Cobra. We'll do that. We have the Cobra. If I go down to the underbarrel attachment, what I'll do 
you can see I the grip is in the second spot, so I need to replace the position or edit position, put it so in the default, so I start with it, and then I can edit position here. I can add things in here if I want, something like a uh, buckshot. I could also edit position and replace it, so that's what I bring into the game. Because there's no plus menu, I need to configure my attachments before I spawn. And then same with the barrel option here. Why don't we do something like the flash suppressor? You can see there, now that's in my first option. If I want the suppressor, I'll edit position and select like that. And there we go, that's my AN94. And you can see there, I have my SCAR configured. Uh, we have things, optics on the DAO, AS VAL. So if I customize the AS VAL, again, you can see here, um, I'll swap this, put my Cobra there. I'll start with my Cobra option. Ammunition, I want the extended mag, so I'll edit that position, put it in the default. And then what we'll do for the underbarrel attachment is we'll use the laser light on there for better hip fire accuracy. And we can put this here also, but your default first option here is what you're gonna start with. So there's my AS Val and how that will look. So let's go ahead and see how to do this in a game now for Portal. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like to edit them in the game because not all, all the time this won't always save. So I could edit this AN94 and later when I come in, these would ha all have no attachments on them. So I don't know, that's just something that's bugged right now. They're not always saving. I went through and edited all the uh, weapons here for this, like my M60, I had pretty kitted out with, uh, I was just playing this yesterday, so if I go ahead and let's get a better option here, we'll do the 3.4 times, I'll start with that. Ammunition, I want the extended mag option there. Under barrel, I want the bipod for default. And then the barrel option, I would like the, let's go with the flash suppressor and first, and then you can see that there's no extended barrel here. But we'll go flash suppressor. So I'm going to have the flash suppressor, the, the optic there on the bottom, extended mag, and bipod on my M60. So that's what I'll spawn in with. But again, that won't always save. Now, for the SCAR, or let's say the AN94, I want to equip this as my assault loadout. I'll hit square. Equip it for assault. And then if I go back to loadouts, it should show my AN94. I have my engineer. I have my SCAR. So there's our SCAR. Support, we have the M60. And for the recon, we have the M98B as default. So I can switch those up just by going to weapons and saying I want something different as equipped, equipped, and then that'll equip for the loadout for that particular slot. Like we have the M60, the SCAR, the AN94 Abacon, and the M98B. So you can do the same thing with the vehicles here. So for vehicles, Apache, obviously in Portal, you have different attachment options for this. You can go in here, say rocket pods, heat seekers, ECM jammer will be my equipment slot for my countermeasures. And then I'll put in the auto loader for a decreased reload time for main weapons being my rockets. And you have different options here as well. The gunner has the guided missiles for things like that, but you can go ahead and switch all these up here or in game. Um, and again, you can see all the vehicle options here. You can do these with all the vehicles, edit the different attachments or what you're gonna bring into the loadout for this game for it's Battlefield 3 in the portal. Could be Bad Company 2, could be 2042. It's all gonna be the same. So we'll go ahead and jump in game quick and I'll show you how to customize them in game in case you're confused on how to do that. So now that we're in game, I, what I want to do is to edit my attachments in game in case they didn't save in the main menu. I'll hit modify here. Let's say I want to be assault. So I'll start assault and you can see here, we'll tab over to our primary. So let's go ahead and use, we can do the M16. Now here you see the customize. So I can customize this further if it's something with no attachments on it. I'll customize it in the same premise here. You have the plus menu, but there's no plus menu in game. So I want to start with the Cobra. Let's start with the hollow actually. So we'll, we'll replace that or swap those two. For the ammunition, we don't have an option. Under barrel attachment, we want the grip. So we're good there. And then for the barrel attachment, why don't we go ahead and we'll put on a suppressor just so you guys can see. We'll swap that over for the flash suppressor. Go ahead now, we'll back out and we will spawn. But first let's do the same thing with our pistol. Go ahead for the 1911 customize. You can see I already put my slots in there. So we're good to go. So we'll go ahead back out and we'll deploy at the base. So you guys can see. And now here's my M16 with all of my attachments. So you can see we got the grip, the suppressor and the optic. So we're good to go. That's how you put attachments on weapons in Battlefield 2042 and in Battlefield 3 portal or any mode in the portal here as well as put them on like that. Same with vehicles. You can do that. If I wanted to redeploy, let's say I got my attachments wrong, 
just do the same thing as use the customize menu here. And again, since you don't have the plus menu, you just need to be mindful of where your attachments are. So we'll go ahead, let's do engineer. We'll go ahead and why don't we do the P90. We can customize that quick. Why don't we go ahead and switch up the optic for the Cobra. Everything else I have set to the position I want it. And we'll go ahead now and we will spawn. And there we go. There's our P90 with the attachments we chose. And you can see there's obviously no plus menu. So if I go to choose the plus menu option by holding L1 here on PS5, there's no plus menu. So I can't swap those attachments. So they just need to be in the first place position. Let me know what you guys think down below of this. Let me know this is helpful. I know a lot of people run around here with no attachments on their weapons. So hopefully this helps. That's all I see in the in-game chat. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.